Today I will be extracting iodine from potassium iodine. I have prepared a solution of potassium iodide already, just to cut this thing shorter than usual. And now I will be adding roughly 150 milliliters of hydrochloric acid to the solution. Heat it up slightly. Oh, by the way, if you are in Celsius land, it is currently about two. So I'm doing this in the worst conditions. As you can see, I drop in here. Iodine begins to precipitate as it's being oxidized. Now, what happened was a redox reaction with potassium iodide to create potassium chloride and free iodide. The hydrochloric, not the hydrochloric, but the hydrogen peroxide is currently oxidizing it. Yep, I can smell it. That's why I'm using an eyedropper. This is 35% hydrogen peroxide. Skip ahead to the fun part. After having washed the iodine thoroughly, I am now beginning to filter it off. As this is gravity filtration, this will take a while. As you can see, iodine being as heavy as it is, is already collected at the bottom. This stuff is boring, so I will wait it out. This is my final yield of iodide. I didn't use much, so I didn't expect much, but this is pure as pure as can be.